This video will provide a further introduction to the basic features of EpiReviewer Web. In order to edit your coding tools and codes, including renaming, changing to comparison mode, and deleting, you can either click on Coding Tools on the Review homepage, or click on the green Codes button on the right-hand side and click on Edit Tools. Once you have this window open, you can edit any of your codes. If you want to rename a code, click on it and then click on Edit Code. Type in the new name and click Update. If you want to reorder your codes or coding tools, simply use the blue up and down arrows. If you want to change a coding tool from normal to comparison mode because more than one person will be screening the same items, simply click on the coding tool that you want to change and click Edit Coding Tool. Then click on the red Change button next to Data Entry Mode and confirm that you want to change it. To add a code, Click on the coding tool where the code should appear and click on Add Child. If the code is located in a screening coding tool, choose whether it will be an include or exclude code, type in the code name and click Create. To delete a code, click on it, click Edit Code and then click on Delete Code. A warning will be displayed telling you how many items will be affected if you delete the code. Ensure that you double check it says zero before clicking yes. To return to the previous screen, simply click on close back at the top right hand side. In the references tab, you can change the number of items to be displayed by clicking on view options, changing the number where it says page size and clicking apply change. You can also customize the view to include the information that you would prefer to see such as journal names, authors, and document types. The Frequencies tab looks quite similar to EpiReviewer 4 and enables you to quickly see how many items have been coded under a specific parent code. Select the parent code or coding tool, click Set, and then click on Get Frequencies. You can then click on any blue number to be taken to a list of those items. The crosstabs function allows you to compare how two items have been coded in comparison to each other. Simply expand your codes, choose the coding tools to crosstabulate, click Set and then click on Get Crosstabs. The Collaborate tab in ER Web looks somewhat similar to version 4. Here, you can create groups of items to assign to people for coding by clicking on Create Reference Groups. Once you have chosen the number of groups to create, choose where to create your groups and then click on Create. We recommend creating groups under the Allocations Coding tool and renaming group codes to something meaningful. To assign groups of items to people to code, click on Create Coding Assignments. Choose the reference group to assign. Select the coding tool to use. And the reviewer. And click Assign. New assignments will then show in the Coding Assignments section. The Coding Assignments section works the same way as version 4, as you can click on the blue numbers to be taken to those items. However, we recommend using the My Work panel on the Review homepage to access your assignments. For easy coding of items, you can access a coding-only interface. To do this, expand the My Reviews panel on the Review homepage and click on the Coding UI button for your review. This Coding UI is optimised for smaller screens, making coding even easier, especially for mobile devices. Thanks for watching. We'll be regularly creating new videos showcasing important ER Web features, so be sure to subscribe.
If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us via episupport at ucl.ac.uk.